Hi, brown bears. Happy Friday. Um, gosh, does it feel like Friday to you? Because it feels like a Wednesday to me or something. But here we are. It's Friday. It's almost the weekend. Um, I hope you have a lot of fun games planned for the weekend. Uh, this is going to be a short video. I want to show you a new logo that I designed for our homeschool. I want to read a book that Nehemiah picked out when we were FaceTiming today. And I want to do um, the sorting of the coins so we can still try to figure out how many coins are in the, um, the tin, the jar. Before we get started, um, updates from the classroom. Jonas um, posted a letter for Ted on our book creator today. So there's more letters going up and I think Aiden's going to put one up soon. Um, I know that Emma's been working really hard and she's sending me a lot of messages about how much she's reading, which is great to hear. Uh, who else have I been chatting with? I'm trying to get a hold of Basem and Gio. Um, so if you are in contact with either of them, let them know that I really want to chat with them and see how they're doing. So first things first, I listened to music today and I did some Mo Willems videos. And so here is our new um, hibernation homeschool logo. As you can tell, our character Pigeon is talking and saying hibernation homeschool. I know that a few of you have been doing the Mo Willems drawings. Um, Joaquin and Emiliano, I think, are doing them. I would love to see the results. Ashley put up the results. No, it wasn't Ashley, it was Siomara. Siomara posted um, her Piggy and Gerald on the book creator. It's pretty fun. Okie doke. We'll do a book and then a little bit of math. I hope that you're practicing math on Zern. Zern is awesome. Shout out to Carter for getting to lesson 17. And Tara Luna is also doing a bit of Zern. I hope to talk to Tara Luna today. It's, oh, Tara Luna and Mila are writing each other letters as pen pals, which I think is totally brilliant. If you're interested in pen paling with someone and you don't have their address or their email address, contact me and I can put you in touch with them. I think it is so smart that the two of you are pen paling. Mila, if you're watching this, hello. I see that you've been reading a lot on Epic and I would love to talk with you. Um, here is Take Me Out of the Bathtub. It was recommended by Nehemiah. He read me two books today on FaceTime. It was awesome. Take Me Out of the Bathtub and other silly dilly songs. Oh, so it's songs. Okay, Take Me Out of the Bathtub. So Take me out of the bathtub. Ooh, I bet that he doesn't like being in the bathtub. Parker says that his cat actually really likes water, except the spray bottle. And other silly dilly songs. Take me out of the bathtub in the tune of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Take me out of the bathtub. Take me out of the suds. I've been here soaking since half past two. I feel so sudsy and wrinkly too. Oh, I washed all over my body, my head, my toes in between. I used one, two, three bars of soap. Take me out, I'm clean. Take me out of the bathtub. I'm stuck here with my toys. Dump trucks and squirrels I think are great, but I better take off my roller skates. He's in the bathtub with his roller skates. All right. Cause each time I get up, I wobble. I hold on, but it's a pain. I tried once, twice, three times to stand. Better get a crane. Whoa, what is happening here? What? What is that? Is that food? What do you think is happening in this picture? <laughs> what? Okay, it looks like there's a dog trying to eat some spaghetti. Oh, wait a second. I spy a tiny human hand. Who do we think that might be? 
They've got meatballs and carrots. Is that a high chair? Could that be a baby? What? Okay, let's see. This song is called The Yogurt Flies Straight From My Brother. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, to the tune of My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. Let's see. The yogurt, the yogurt flies straight from my brother. The peaches zoom toward me from sis. When she gets home, I bet my mother says, says we shouldn't food fight like this. Food fight, food fight. There's food on the counter and chairs and chairs. Food fight, food fight. There's tons of meatloaf in my hair. My brother flicks peas with his fork and they zip down my shirt with a splat. I see a big piece of pork land on my head like it is a new hat. <laughs> what? Food fight, food fight. Clean up, there's no time to spare, to spare. Food fight, food fight. Got carrots in my underwear. We should stop, but it's so much fun that I yell for one more ice cream bomb. It soars down the hall to the front door and into the face of our mom. Oh no. Food fight, food fight. There'll be no more food fights for me, for me. Food fight, food fight. I'm grounded till I'm 23. <clears throat> All right, what in the world is happening in this picture? What? Okay, we see, oh no, there's a little Ted. Uh, Mom looks pretty happy about something. What's going on with her eyes? Oh, she's wearing sunglasses, I think. Or just regular glasses, perhaps? Hmm. What does it look like she's doing? Just throwing stuff out of the house? Okay, this is called I've Been Cleaning Up My Bedroom, <laughs> okay? Sung to the tune of I've Been Working on the Railroad. Let's see. I've been cleaning up my bedroom all the live long day. I've been cleaning up my bedroom just to put my stuff away. I've been cleaning a lot. Have you been cleaning a lot, brown bears? Mom says tidy up that pile sitting there on the floor. I just nod to her, then smile and shove it out the door. I'm trying to remember how the tune goes. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Da 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 Okay. Please clean up this mess. Please clean up this mess. Geez, I can't figure out how to sing the rest of this song to I've Been Working on the Railroad. How about you take a peek at the lyrics, and if you figure out how to um, sing this to I've Been Working on the Railroad, pause the video, and then make a recording of yourself singing this song, and send it to me. I would love to hear it. Um, I'm sure that Logan's mom, Carrie, would be into this one. Okay, that's enough silly songs for today. We can do more on a different video. I'm not going to make videos this weekend, but I will make a video on Monday, just like how we have usual school. I'm happy to talk on the phone and I'm happy to look at things you are making, however. So please feel free to keep sending things. To finish the video, um, as we promised, we're going to sort out the coins and see if we can make a better prediction of how much money is in this jar. That's a potato. Potato! You're not a coin. Okay, I'm gonna sort that potato out. We can start sorting out coins that are not um, English. This looks Canadian. It says Canada on it. This belongs to our country. This is a quarter. It's worth 25 cents, which means if I had a quarter, it would be the same as 25 pennies. Or if we wanted to do groups of 10, it could be the same as two dimes and five pennies, or one dime and 15 pennies. Up to you. Money's pretty fun to play with. 
that would be a great thing for you to do with your parents while you're um, working from home. So this is a quarter and I'm gonna put that here. This does not belong to our country, nor does this. This is a dime that's worth 10 cents. A penny, yeah, I can go here, penny, penny. That does not belong to us. Quarter, dime. Ooh, it's a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. So here's my question to you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sort these um, away from the screen because I don't want to spend too much of your time doing it. But if a quarter is worth twenty five cents, twenty five. How many different ways could we make the number 25 using nickels, which are worth five cents, or dimes? That's not a dime, that belongs to England. That's a dime. Or dimes, or pennies. So this is worth one cent, this is worth 10 cents, this is worth five cents and this is worth 25 cents. My challenge for you is um, if you can find the most amount of ways that we could make 25 cents using either nickels, which are five, pennies, which are one, or dimes, which are 10. That's my challenge to you. I want someone to, I want you all to email me this weekend and we'll talk about it on Monday. How many different ways can you make 25 with any of these coins? Okay, Brownberries, keep posting letters to the book creator. Are your friends love to see it? Um, call me, text me pictures of what you're writing. Uh, do some math on Zern. Read books on Epic or real paper books. Always an option. Um, I love you, and I'll make another video on Monday. Bye.